so I had had a, a little comment back and forth here with, uh, I guess his name's C. Luke from the uh, William Cooper channels. He has all these different YouTube channels of Bill Cooper and BitChutes and other, he's on other platforms too, where he just primarily uploads old Bill Cooper shortwave radio, which is amazing stuff. I love Bill Cooper. Bill Cooper's one of my heroes. I don't know if I'm Bill Cooper's biggest fan, but I'm probably his second or third biggest fan. I love Bill Cooper. I'm a fanboy for Bill Cooper. I could put a poster on my wall of Bill Cooper. Um, I wish I could have met him. I've always thought that Bill Cooper was like the father that I never had. Um, very knowledge-seeking guy, avid reader, avid knowledge-seeking person was Bill Cooper. But he had blind spots just like anybody else, and he only knew what he knew at the time with the information that he had in the 90s, early 2000s. It's... December 31st, 2022. It's going to be 2023, okay? So, knowing what we know now, we know more information now than we did 25 years ago. You know, so I'm sure you you can see it on the screen here. Now, he had made a comment that he, Bill Cooper did not believe chemtrails were what we now know them to be, which are stratospheric aerosols for geoengineering the weather due to climate change. This is what they say they are. I'm not here to debate about climate change. I'm simply saying that's what they are using them for. The scientists, the government officials, through the military and the, the Air Force bases and all that, that's what these things are. Um, Bill Cooper, though, thought that if you mentioned poisonous contrails or poisonous toxic contrails, that, you know, he would make, you know, he would go like, cuckoo, cuckoo. You know, he thought it was kooky stuff. But like I said, this is 25 years ago. So, you know, I just think that it's naive to go by what one man thought in 1999 with the limited information that was there at the time. I think we know a little bit more now. I left a bigger comment here that was hidden by YouTube, giving all kinds of links to articles about geoengineering and the stratospheric aerosol spraying and how they're doing this through universities and scientists and things like that. They're trying to block out the sun and they're and they use the double speak stuff because they admit that it's true, but then out the other side of their mouth, they tell you that it's just a conspiracy and that you're a wackadoo for believing it. It's a typical government thing to do. It's the typical thing that they do, like with classified documents, for example. They say out one side of their mouth, that's a secret. That's top secret. That's classified information. You can't know that. And then out the other side of their mouth, they say, just trust us. We wouldn't lie to you. We're not hiding anything from you, etc. So it's double speak. They're double speak, and Freemasons do it too because Freemasons say they'll they'll tell you a little bit of their secrets of their fraternity out one side of their mouth, and then out the other side of their mouth, they'll say, "Oh, well, we can't tell you that it's a secret. You have to be part of our organization to know that." So it's the same thing, and that's what people do with the chemtrail thing. They admit that the chemtrails are what they are. They are spraying chemicals into the air in order to curb global warming and climate change and whatnot. But then out the other side of their mouth, they say, 
that the way that conspiracy theories believe in them is kooky is it's the kooky way. It's the look they they give the look the other way explanation for it the, to divert attention away from it. They're going to admit out the left side of their mouth that they're real, and then out the other side of their mouth that they're just not real the way that you believe they are. Or you're still a wackadoo for even believing it the way that you do. Does that make sense? So, as big of a fan of Bill Cooper as I am, Bill Cooper had his blind spots just like anybody else. And I just think it needs to be said that from my understanding, chemtrails are real and they've been admitted through, there's all kinds of documents and articles about them and they can talk out both sides of their mouth and say that they're just a conspiracy, you know, look the other way, don't pay attention to that, you just move along, don't pay attention to that, there's nothing to see here, that kind of thing. It's talking out both sides of their mouth, just like they do with classified documents, just like anything that the government does. And also, like I mentioned, the Freemasons do the same thing. They, they say out one side of their mouth that they would never lie to you about nothing, just trust us, we're not hiding anything. And then out the other side of their mouth, they tell you that's classified information, you're not allowed to know that. That's only for important people to know, etc. So, that's how I understand chemtrails to be. They are indeed real, and Bill was right about contrails. Regular contrails do evaporate into the air, into the atmosphere. So, but it's what they've come to to do, you know, over... We, we didn't have as much information then. It's what we've come to understand about what they are in the years since those days. So, I just wanted to say that. 